Hey, what's up? It's Jim, and I just got back from the new film Bridesmaids. Kristen Wiig and Maya Rudolph have been best friends forever. And then Maya Rudolph is getting married. She picks Kristen Wiig to be the head bridesmaid. However, she's competing with her newer best friend, or newer friend who's kind of her best friend, played by Rose Byrne. It's called Bridesmaids, which you'd assume would be some sort of an ensemble comedy. It is a starring vehicle for Kristen Wiig. It is not an ensemble film. The Warriors was about all the Warriors, not like two of them. I wouldn't compare this at all to The Hangover. I would compare this more to more of an Apatow film. He produced it, and Paul Feig directed it, and he is the creator of Freaks and Geeks. Kristen Wiig, she wrote this film, and I think as an actress, she's a good actress. I don't know if she's that great at writing because this film had a lack of a theme. It just like, there's a lot of funny parts, and I probably laughed at this more than I laughed at comedies that I like way more than this movie. It has the jokes right, it just isn't so good with the story. The story for this film, is at least secondary so they can do bits and have jokes and that's fine and it makes for an enjoyable film experience. I think as a film it's just kind of like flat, there's nothing connecting anything. Like the conflict with the roommates, that could have been cut out because it didn't really lead anywhere. It just felt like it was inserted because they have a scene about, you know, the wedding and the bridesmaids and they're like, well we can't just go from one scene to the other so why don't we just put something in between. They do these long improv scenes. She kept driving by Chris O'Dowd to get his attention and even though parts of it were funny, it just went on way too long and I think that was this movie's biggest problem is it really needed to be cut down and shortened and made tighter but I felt like it didn't want to. The time the comedy was the best one was when it was incredibly focused and the conflict between Rose Byrne and Kristen Wiig all those scenes I thought were really funny where they're at the engagement party Kristen Wiig like talks about how close she's been with Maya Rudolph like her whole life and Rose Byrne comes in to kind of upstage her and they keep coming on and off to upstage each other. That was really funny. When this comedy had more of a focus, it was really funny. I almost thought when I left this, this was like a genre Apatow movie, but I would not say this is actually a genre Apatow movie because it's kind of playing it off like they were supposed to do it rather than being a genre film where you kind of have this common understanding with the audience what's gonna happen. This film didn't play like that. It played like Universal gave her a checklist of crap she had to do in an Apatow movie and she did it. And that like, especially towards the end, kind of felt really tacked on. It just didn't feel very original. It just felt like it's just treading water and doing what all these other movies have proven to do. How come all comedies have to end like a bad Saved by the Bell episode? Chris O'Dowd did a really good job of being a romantic lead. I hope he does more romantic lead roles. I thought he was really good. Kristen Wiig, it almost felt like it's just her shtick. You know, and it's, her shtick is fine, and I'm sure that people will enjoy her shtick being in this movie. I felt like this is the same thing I've seen on SNL, and it's no different. She's a fine actress. I'd actually like to see her work with someone else's script rather than her own. Melissa McCarthy, who's now on Mike and Molly, and I saw her in Gilmore Girls before, I think she shows she has real promise as a comedic actress, but I felt like her character was trying a bit too hard, but it's kind of a character that the way it's written, there wasn't really much I could see her getting around. I had a fun time. I laughed way more than I thought I should or than I thought I would. If you're going to a comedy just to laugh and not think so much, so if you have seen Bridesmaids and you would like to talk about it, then comment below in the comments and subscribe if you would like to.